So I did want to share a little bit about myself. For a long time, I had learned how to do day trading. I had started day trading when I was really young. I was about 21, 22 years old when I had gotten my license. A buddy of mine who worked as a swing, as a, excuse me, he worked as a stockbroker. And that was back when, you know, during my teenage years where I had, had my own business. I primarily did swimming pools as a young kid. It was the first real job that I had. And the owner was the one who really got me into uh, investing. It was because they had an office, a uh, swimming pool office, and on the downstairs is basically where all the, the customers would come in. But upstairs, it was typically where we had, you know, the inventory. But in the section of the of the upstairs of the second floor, my, my you know, one of the bosses had a little room where he had his monitors set up kind of like I do. And that's where he did his investing. And so the other owner downstairs basically managed the front the front of the business and upstairs was where their investments took place. And so on my lunch break, I would stop in and ask questions. You know, I got the I got the business perspective from the first floor, learning how to manage the register, learning how to interact with customers, learning how to answer questions. You know, a lot of the things that you learn when you are basically a grunt starting in somebody's business. You know, you learn about inventory, you learn about overhead. A lot of these important things that you don't learn when you go to school and it's the value that many young people today have lost in starting out working you know basically uh, on the low rung of the ladder as they say and then eventually working your way up and of course the reason that i bring this up is because my you know every year you should have you know you know we set goals for yourself people always talk about you know i want to have I want to have this goal or I want to have that goal. You know, every new, every new year, there's people like I'm going to join the gym and I'm going to get into shape. And then that quickly disappears. But at the very least, one of my goals that I had set was I had already had a long-term investing account. I have a retirement account that I manage and I wanted to learn how to do a, like a lot of option trading and see how well I would do with it. Basically teaching myself a new skill. And so some of that I learned from trial and error. Some of it I paid attention to what I had already learned from investing and some of it I picked up from different YouTube videos, people that had a history of investing. I paid attention to them. And so this is basically one of the small accounts that I have basically over the past year. We're up uh, just about 89% on the year. It is one of my smaller accounts, but it is one that I actively, of course, manage on my own, even though I manage them all, but this, but this one in particular, I utilize from week to week or from month to month. And on this particular account, I hold positions, I hold stocks. I may have 100 shares, 200, 300 shares, and then I sell calls or, I write, or I'll write puts, etc., on the positions that I have or on the excess cash flow that I have. And this is basically an, another way where, as an individual, where you can earn extra income because you can't have all of your income tied into just your job if you lose your job then you're, you're you're shit out of luck so you always have to have what they refer to as multiple streams of income like for example creating a youtube right and that may take a really long time i mean if you look at my portfolio if you look at it for just over the course of the year you can see where i'm at for the year we're up i'm up 22 percent for the year over the past three months up 13 percent, etc and so this is something that i have basically been basically teaching myself over the past couple of years and it is a grind if i go back i mean if we go back to here i think let's go out to the max we'll go out to the max and you could see at one point in the learning process i was actually down almost three thousand dollars in my account and i was here for quite some times as you can see i was down a thousand up you know down two thousand and make a little bit make me a little bit more of my money back and it was just basically a learning process over the course of you can see here from three of 2020 all the way to about 11 so almost seven you know almost eight months eight months of teaching myself how to make money in the market utilizing this and of course now you can see doing obviously doing much better over the past couple of months over the year making much more excuse me making much more improvement and of course the purpose of this is that as men it is your responsibility to always continue to advance yourself in a different area you might work for me like for example myself i work primarily as a nurse most of my income comes from doing contract work as a nurse but i supplement a lot of my money create a small business maybe you start a youtube channel whatever you're interested in talking about 
and of course the value of investing investing in companies and there's multiple ways that you can do this but wasting your time doing nothing i mean a lot of people just spend a lot of waste a lot of their time not reading books not not advancing themselves and it's one of the reasons why many men are typically not doing very well especially now uh you know with the pandemic and people losing their jobs you really have to provide value to a lot of companies some people will just be happy you know making you know whatever it is that the government tosses them but for other people other people don't have that sort of not just not willing to accept it they want to improve and this is this is the purpose of self-improving so that you can do different things with your life I mean, currently i think about i've got about 650 dollars in outstanding profits but this is a this is a long-term goal my goal is of course to create and expand this account into the thousands of dollars so that i can write calls and literally take in uh thousands of you know hundreds hundreds of dollars a week currently i'm averaging Currently, I'm averaging probably about 700 in the month or so. Of course, I hold positions and that will fluctuate. But in terms of the, the income that I am, because what I do is I just take all that income that I get from selling from selling the call and then I buy more stock and I basically expand the portfolio. I just keep on buying shares of stocks as stocks pull back. I typically strategically place my 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 buy orders looking for, you know, for nice pullbacks. And I buy those shares cheap so that when they ride back up, I then sell the calls. And that's basically a way of me creating an, an extra set of income. I can do this. I can do this for the month. I can do it for the week, depending upon how much time I have. And it's a great way for me to be able to um, add in extra income while at the same time making a video talking about this very this very same thing. And of course... The more that you do, like in like I talked about earlier, like all that your hand finds to do, the Bible says, do with your very power, right? And whether one or two or all of the things that you choose to do find success, and of course, this is the goal is to have is to be a successful individual. And the easiest way to do that is via trial and error and hard work.